Well, it started when I was young. Unfortunately, I got molested by one of my older cousins. And then around the same time period, I got molested by an older female. I don't really remember the name. And that started off putting with a lot of anger in my heart at a young age. I already started mixing up with nicotine. Growing up in life, I started to surround myself around people that weren't really good for you. Started hanging out with the boys in the hood. And before I knew, I started smoking and drinking. And at the time where I was at, you know, mom was always working. She did her best. But when there's nobody around, you look for some kind of comfort. And they was always there to be like, hey, you know, we got you, you're our brother, you're our family. So when you needed it, they were there for you. And through growing up, I can remember plenty of times because of God, I've, I've, I'm alive. There's more than 18 times I know that I can count that God protected me from dying. I surrounded myself with the wrong people that, like I said, at the time, they showed me what love was. I thought love was somebody that had your back. I thought love was somebody that would ride with you no matter what. I thought love was somebody that would take a bullet for you. Growing up, I kind of figured out that it was just that they needed me at the moment. And through that, I messed up with gangs, drugs, violence, alcohol, guns. I had a lot of pride because of everything that I've been through. I ended up being a leader of most of these cats. And one day I met God. I came to church over a promise that my mama, that I made to my mom. And I'm, I'm here. I, was, I remember I was sitting in the back row and the pastor was saying, somebody just wants to change your life, come to the front. So I did. And I remember when I did, I felt something inside of me that I can't really explain. It was this fire of God that was overwhelming. It was a joy, a love, a peace that I've, that I've never felt before in my life. And I was like, wow, what is this? No, no drug, no alcohol, no shroom, no female, no nothing that I experienced in the world gave me this kind of peace, this kind of love, this kind of fulfillment. Of, like, I felt like I had a purpose once I felt that. And when I felt that, I remember I told myself I ain't trying to let this go. I went to the house, I got rid of everything. Thank God I, I've been working in his ministry and God has blessed me and, and protected me so many times and I feel like I got to do more for him. And right now, thanks to God, I'm serving this church. I'm one of his leaders. I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the leader of the, of, the, of the media team. Thank God I have a group of people that I can trust, that I can say they're honestly true friends. Nothing that like I grew up with, which they always needed me for something bad compared to now when they look at me like hey I need a prayer hey let's go to go let's go pray for people let's just sit down and eat like it's a different kind of environment that I was never used to and I'm happy that I, I got to meet this environment I'm happy I got to meet these people especially the way I came in and I got to meet the love of God through other people love wasn't really an option the way we grew up <laughs> and to be surrounded with people that it didn't matter who you were what you've been through what you look like what you talk like and to give you an opportunity I was like, okay, who are they? Like, why? What, what, what do you see? God has moved me tremendously quick. I've been serving this church for about a year and, and a half now. And God has elevated me to a whole other level. I preach on television for him. I hit the streets and, and evangelize people. Thank God I brought a couple of people here and they've saved their souls. And now they either go to our church or different churches around. And I, I love this place. God has done tremendous things in my life. If you know if anybody probably say they go through the same experience like bro I've, I've been molested I've been shot at I've been stabbed I've had people double cross me people I used to sit with look at me in the eyes say they wouldn't be there forever and then sell me out people leave me for dead and if you feel like you ever been through any of that bro like honestly just come to a church meet the presence of God meet what God can honestly do in your life once you feel that fire of God, once you feel it and experience that, that true love, that true actuality, that He is real, that He is there looking for you. He is there wanting to see you, who you are. And once you get to meet Him, once you meet that love, that presence, like you ain't going to want to leave. And glory to God, because once you do, and you will, in God's time, God's going to save you. God's going to do the same miracle, the same change He did with me and you. And what used to feel impossible will become possible because of God. Si este testimonio ha impactado tu vida y quieres aceptar a Jesús como el salvador de tu vida, te invito a que hagas esta oración después de mí. Señor Jesús, yo confieso con mi boca que tú eres Jesús, el Hijo de Dios. Y creo con todo mi corazón que Dios se levantó de los muertos, limpia mis pecados y escribe mi nombre en el libro de la vida. Hoy te acepto como el salvador, como el rey de mi vida. Amén y Amén.